reigning Madden 17 champ, now playing Madden 18. It's the man from Claremont, Oklahoma, Michael Skimbo. Yeah, the professional Michael Skimbo. He's 26 years old. This is his birthday week. Just turned 26 on Tuesday. Took home $200,000 last year in Madden winnings. And he is a man on a mission. He knows that he has a chance to make history by getting that second belt, which no one has ever done in the Madden championship era. And he is as focused as he has ever been. Yeah, we were having dinner with him the other day, and he was just like, I'm out of here. I got to go watch film. And he's watching game tape on this man right here, Chaos from the D.C. area. Yeah, and Chaos knows what type of opportunity this is. This was a guy that was relatively unknown. Nobody knew who he was, and now he has a chance to really make a name for himself going up against the defending champion, and that's what competitive gaming and esports is all about, going from a relatively unknown player to making it here to California on the big stage with a chance to play for $100,000. Man's put himself in quite a good quite a good situation. Well, he beat Sirius Mo to get here. Both these guys are going to be using the Seahawks, and it's all about that defense. Yeah, Sherman and Bennett, you already know what they could bring to the table. Jimmy Graham and Russell Wilson lets you get away from some awkward situations, but the key to that defense is Earl Thomas. Everybody loves Earl in regs, and he is a problem. He's able to make a lot of plays that a lot of defenders aren't able to make in this game. He's something special. If you air the ball out, that's one guy you got to avoid. Well, it's time for my favorite part, RG Scattering Report. Oh, I'm honored. First of all, for, for Chaos, it's don't be content. I had a chance to talk with him early this morning, and he did express that he was just happy to be out of groups. He feels like he's kind of playing with house money, and I don't think that's the attitude you should have. You have a chance to be great right now. You can knock off the defending champion, really make a run at this thing. If you make the final, secure, secure your spot in that ultimate league, I think he needs to leave it all out on the line. Don't be content with where you're at. There's a lot more money and glory to be had. What about for Michael Skimbo? Skimbo, it's defense. This is a guy that's usually known for his offense, but if you paid attention to the tournament yesterday, it was his defense that was saving him against Stevie J. He had the early stop that got him three points and then a pick six, which gave him a 10-0 lead. Same thing later on in the day against True Boy, a bunch of big interceptions, and he's going up against that chaos, powerful trips tight end offense. It's going to be Skimbo's defense that's going to have to win him this game. Well, that's enough talk out of URG. It's time to get it on. It's single elimination. We're in the wild card stage of the Madden Classic live from L.A. Let's rock. So Chaos is receiving here, and he's going to go down early. Going to start at the 15-yard line. So right away, we get to see what Skimbo's going to do on defense. And one thing that's interesting is Chaos runs the same defensive playbook in formation as Mike Skim, this nickel 335 odd found in an, only found in the New England Patriots playbook. So he will have some familiarity with what Skimbo's trying to do here on defense. So first and ten for Chaos. Bunch to the left. He's got precise with him. Except they're tripping it up to the left. And he'll run Lockett in motion. Going to the air. And he finds Jimmy Graham, the former hoopster, for the first down. Wow, nice deep out route right there by Jimmy Graham. You don't see that very often, but that was a good route. Big chunk of yards, over 10-yard gain. Skimbo's going to have to make some sort of adjustment for that. Having your corner this far outside isn't going to help guard that at all either. Skimbo really bases his defense on that looping pressure coming from the middle. He goes to the run, and C.J. Procise will work his way to the 32. Nice gain of five. Yeah, and that inside zone out of that gun trips tight end was one of the things Skimbo was most worried about going into this game. He said it's a really hard run to stop, especially with how many passing options Chaos has out of this formation. Skimbo said he prepared a lot to try to stop that. We'll see how it goes. Five yards. That's not, that's not the amount you want to give up every pop. Winner will probably face Tweez in the semifinals. I know there's some outlying things that if, you know, some of the players win that they might face someone else so they're not facing the same people in the groups. But don't worry about all that. It's really straight through single elimination with Tweez waiting for the winner of this one. 
Look at this. No pressure coming out the right. Allows Russell Wilson to take a step outside the pocket. Slangs it, and Paul Richardson puts his life on the line. Dives out and secures the catch. Paul Richardson's played pretty well so far in the Madden class. He's got a lot of speed. Really more of a nine-route guy. Some guy that's really good at getting deep, but comes up with a big catch there at the 45-yard line. Chaos on the opening drive. And Wilson, under duress, can't get rid of it. And Clark is there to bring him down for a loss of 10. Take a look at this again, RG. Told you, Kiefer Skimbo is defense. Look at Alexander way in there to take on one of those two crossing routes. Pressure gets there first. That's a big play for Chaos on first down. You would have expected him to run the ball right there, especially getting five yards on his first carry. Now he's got himself in an awkward situation at second and 20. But with that looping blitz, you, you know, you, your guy might not get there, but you might get a block shed. And here comes again, just scream machine on Russell Wilson. And Chaos is falling into the trap of Skimbo. One thing that I should mention is when Skimbo won his NYC Challenger event, he went up against a Madden Pro in Manu, who also ran this gun trips tight end offense, and Skimbo said the thing that helped him the most is Manu really wanted to air the ball out, and that plays to Skimbo's strength. If you're Chaos, you need to start mixing in that run, or it's going to be a long day, because Skimbo has bagged this offense before. Send a special welcome to those out there on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. Third and 20 for Chaos. He was rocking and rolling, but two straight losses. Good tackle. Good tackle. Four yards. Good tackle. Come on. Go for it. Go for it. Skimbo says, go for it. Chaos says, you know what? I will. Well, why not? Let's play some Madden. <laughs> Fourth and 14, this is gonna be huge, on, Coltrane. This is a you, big Earl. play right here early in the game in single elimination. You, Skimbo knows it. I need you, Earl. Come on, Earl. Screaming Earl. Talk about Earl Come Thomas on, Earl. III. Come on, Earl. Free safety. Come on, Earl. We don't really see Skim talk like this. He knows how close he is I to glory. You, Break it oh up. my gosh, I need to catch that, bro. That's crazy, man. I don't know. You're throwing to Ricard oh, wow. Lockett. Tyler Lockett, who's not crazy. a great wide receiver. He's not a possession type receiver. That's more of a vertical oh, threat. Wow, that's crazy. And Earl Thomas gets over there early, and knocks man. the ball out of his hand. I was referring to a tweet that he all good, all sent good. before each of these rounds. Talking to Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor saying, I need you today. Oh, we got a touchdown first play of the game. We got touched out first play of the game. We got touched out first play of the game. Oh. I'm telling you, when Skimbo plays, I don't need to be here. He, he'll, he just does it all, but a huge overthrow there by Russell Wilson. And you know that's frustrating for Mike Skim because his preparation, you know that was something he knew was going to be there. He went for it right away, kind of hey, showed his hand was... a little bit and wasn't able to capitalize. Now Chaos is going to be it's prepared, right, may be able to adjust to that and take it away. That was Skimbo's one shot, shot at a free touchdown. It'll be interesting to see when he goes back to that later in the game because he did have him open, but hey, those vertical streaks... Not always going to be right on the money, throwing the ball deep downfield like that. You saw him change the ball carrier trait to conservative in the coaching adjustments, but goes to the air here, and Jimmy Graham gets his momentum stopped at the 35-yard line. It's a big tackle right there by Richard Sherman. Jimmy Graham, not an easy person to bring down. What was impressive is, instead of getting in his feels after the overthrow, goes right back, checks down to Rawls, picks up the first down, and that's why he's the former champ. Yeah, big difference in the way he reacted to some adversity compared to Chaos. And we saw that was Chaos's problem yesterday. He said he was going to work on it. See how he deals with the adversity. Look at the focus of those two right there, huh? In the red zone. And all the clickety-clack you're hearing, that's the literally tens... 20 adjustments that they're making pre-snap. Yeah, for those that don't know it, Madden, uh, during pre-play at the line of on. scrimmage, there's a chess it's match that goes here. on. You you have all these seven. mechanics to right shift big, your D-line, shift big. your linebackers, hot route a, a defensive seven. player, man them up on it's a wide big. receiver. On the offensive side, you're hot routing your, uh, your receivers, your slide protecting, your ID in the mic. All of that stuff turns goes on during pre-play, and they're all mechanics that they need to do manually, and that's what those clicks are. Scott Cole along with RG here in the opening 
match of the wild Wait, card round, on, and it's a, a high read. point pass to Jimmy point. Graham. It's a, it's a high point. Read. It's a high point. It's a terrible read. It's a high point. It's a terrible read. It's a high point. Come on. It's a terrible read. It's a high point. It's a terrible read. It's a high point. It's a terrible read. It's a high point. And what you're seeing right here, Scott, this is the Madden Classic. This is what's different than all of our other events this season. Usually, these events are played online, but at our first event here at the Madden Classic, this is the only one where you play on the same couch as your opponent, side by side, and you're able to talk trash like that. That ain't no. And he hung on. Oh, I need it all. Skim. Russell Wilson on, hit on, as he threw. He goes right back to Jimmy Graham, and this time it's for six. Wow. Skimbo going back and forth with him. That's a terrible read. That's a terrible read. He goes right back to the right play. Shows him it's not a terrible read. Jimmy Graham holds on to it. And Mike Skim got a stop and answered back with a score. Fair to say he's in complete control right now. How will Chaos respond? And that's the difference between Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas. He's working on Chancellor there in the back of the end zone instead of Earl. Has the height advantage. Beautiful. High point pass. Didn't work the first play, but the second play got him, Coach. Yep, good execution by Skim. And Skim, is a, he's a master at studying his opponents. you got to wonder, does he know Chaos doesn't have the strongest mental? And maybe Skimbo's plan is to get in his head a little bit. It might be working. Maybe talking a little more than we've heard him talk to anybody really but Dubby. 22 seconds left in the quarter. Chaos is trailing by a touchdown. Got to an answer. And Jimmy Graham, mm. Skimbo giving him homage on that throw. Yeah, because now we say Skimbo prepares a lot. Chaos also prepared a lot for Skimbo with his lab partner, Master Gamer, who he flew out there. And best believe that was a hole that they saw in Skimbo's defense, and they knew they wanted to attack it. He usually likes to send that tight end vertical. He knew Skimbo would prepare for that. Instead, puts him on a little baby out slash corner route. Two for two when throwing that route so far. Skimbo's going to have to adjust. Of course, Chaos, former player with the Maryland basketball team. He's played in Assembly Hall against the Hoosiers. He's, he's had some big pressure moments. But he's feeling it right now, trailing by seven to the reigning Madden champ, Michael Skimbo. Now, that's the awesome thing for us, RGs. Players have all different kind of backgrounds. Oh, and it's an interception don't, don't by Skimbo. It's Cam oh, Chancellor this time. Cam Chancellor, baby. Get seven. Go oh. get seven. And you said it, Coltrane. He tweeted out at both Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor. Gotta get seven. Both of them made, made big plays for him on defense. And we said it at the start. The key to the game for Skimbo was going to be defense. Already this has is, is two stops. Uh, and there goes Russell Wilson. Second and one, second and one. Probably second in inches. Good day. That's a full one yard. That's the thing you got to remember when you're sliding down with your quarterback, the ball is behind your legs, your knees, your butt. So it's, it's where the ball is. Yep. Once you make contact with the ground and give yourself up. His skim, he gets the ball at half. He's up seven nothing. He's in field goal range. He can take his time here. And the, th the key, we always talk about it, is you need to make sure you get points if you're Mike Skim. Don't do any risky throws. The most important thing is getting points. If you don't get a touchdown, it's not a big deal because the field goal still makes it two possessions. Making it two possessions is the key right now to this drive for Skimbo. Well, he's back in the red zone again. One for one today. He's had two big defensive stops. One of them, an INT you just saw by Cam Chancellor. Throws it to the outside of Jimmy Graham, but Richard Sherman from Stanford makes the stop. He's made a couple big tackles out there on Jimmy Graham already in this game. But Skim's not scared to do that. That's what makes him so professional. He'll take his two and his three yard gains. A lot of players like to go for the gusto, get it all in one big play. Skim will dump down as much as he needs to to set up some of those bigger plays. You know, Richard Sherman also played wide out in college. Can get a out of position, out of position guy in ultimate team. Yeah, I'll put the word in for you. Appreciate that. Second and eight. 
Of course, Michael Crabtree knows who Richard Sherman is. Crabtree on Thursday night, that <laughs> last sequel yeah. for that Kansas City Raiders that was, game. Wild. That was bananas. Third and five. This is a big one here, Scott. Skim's got to be careful. He's got to be careful. Oh, He's got to be careful. The ball is the the out of the cap. Stupid, Skimbo. You're at the game one, dummy. Wow. Uncharacteristic mistake from Mike Skim. you got to be one, careful bro. on third and five. We're talking about it's important to get three. Chaos claps him. Boom. Punch you in the mouth. I and that's dummies. how you get yourself back in the game, young Ken, Ken Oslander, a.k.a. Chaos. I think it was dummy and dubby in the crowd that called him a dummy. <laughs> that was to the crib, go! He's go, out. Wow. Go, come on, man, CJ go. Procise. Fight. Can he beat Cam come Chancellor on, here? What a spin. Go, Skimbo, dummy, dummy. Let me back in the game, stupid. Come on, man, fight. It's actually Chaos who's the one capping. And here's the thing, Chaos said he got some, he got a call from his dad after the tournament yesterday. And he used to have a problem in basketball where he would miss his shots and get frustrated. His dad told him, hey, you need to go back to what you would do in that situation, and it's next play. Your attitude has to be next play. If things don't go right, just think about what you can do on the next play. Chaos kept his cool after the interception. Throwing right at zones. Throwing right at zones. Got himself. Big stuff. We got a seven point game. Chaos is on the move once again. Got stopped twice thus far, has an INT. But after the fumble recovery, had a big run by CJ Prosite. And game. once again, you're throwing at his own all game. And you're calling me dumb. Stop throwing at me. This is the Madden smart, Classic. Michael, act like you have been here before. Oh. It's amateur hour for you, right, Dubby? <laughs> Open mic night. I here, love here, it. Here I love classic. it. That's what the Classic is about. And that's part of playing oh, Madden on the couch next to your opponent. you got to deal oh. with that trash talk. You're not going to get that at any other tournament for the rest of this season. So, if you're a viewer at home, enjoy the entertainment. These guys are going to be yapping back and forth. And you know what? That's as design. That is part of this tournament. Just don't become an internet meme. Might be too late for one of those players. <laughs> Second and five. Two-minute warning here. Ball to 26. Skimbo with already two takeaways. Goes back to Thomas Rawls. And he'll spin to the 27, not much there. Hey, we're going to have another big third down here, third and four. And if you're Skim, you would love to take away the rest of the second quarter, get your three points, make it two possessions, and get the ball at half and be in complete control. Easier said than done. Play action. Finds Tyler Lockett, who goes airborne to the 32, and that'll move the chains talked about it his willingness to check down Scott and take what the defense has given him and not force the ball downfield he threw that underneath the first down marker and then was able to turn it up for a gain of six in the first down veteran play right there by the defending champ Mike Skim new set of downs clock at 120 and moving he's gonna flip the script back to the base Scott room and Rawls, boy, if it wasn't for Richard Sherman, had some daylight at the end of that run. Ball out at midfield. Check 50, check 50. Just tuning in, we're in the first game, the first wild card matchup of the day. We started with eight competitors, we're down to six. And this is the Madden Classic live from LA. Scott Cole and RG bringing you all the action oh, yeah, here. Adam. Looked like Skim had the A wide receiver okay. on a crossing route, but smart. He, his quarterback might have winded Indeed. up. Sometimes when you got a, sometimes you got a guy deep downfield, Scott, and you know it looks open, but you got to account for the windup the quarterback might have to take right there. Yeah, no gun single trait here in Regs. Corner route should be naked. Fits it inside the window and lock it with another big no grab. Shot. This time right in front of Sherman. That's frustrating. He snaps the ball. He says the corner back, sh the corner route should be naked, and then proceeds to throw <laughs> the corner route for a first down. 
I wouldn't be happy on defense if Skim was doing that to me. You're calling your reads before before you even throw the ball. This is a guy though in Madden 16 through the same spot route 37 times against Sirius Mo in a championship game. Hey, he'll take what you give Thank him. You. People say, oh, that that only happens in Madden. That's not true. I got to talk to Tom Moore, um, old coordinator yeah. once for Peyton Manning. Oh, yeah. He was on the Colts, offensive coordinator. He said they once ran the same play 11 straight times <laughs> against the Patriots because Belichick was stubborn and that's what they wanted to give him. So, hey, we'll take it. I guess it wasn't fullback dive. Second and eight. He did say it was a run play. <laughs> and there goes Russell Wilson. He'll run. This time he's able to slide down. Boy, if Skimbo had a, would have slid, he would have at least had three. So now he would be having the opportunity to go up 17. But instead, he's trying to make it a two-score game with 34 seconds. Does have one timeout for each of these teams. And Rawls will drive his way to the 18, and he'll go hurry up. I like that Skim's keeping his timeout right here, Coltrane, because we saw him have a mental lapse with the clock management in this same exact situation against Dubby yesterday. And it yeah, cost him dearly. Yeah, he used his last timeout with 32 seconds. Boy, this is going to be close here. Okay, he's going to line up. Please don't block my kid. He'll let it go. Can't be iced in the first half, by the way. Hey, there, there you go if you're Mike Skim. As long as you don't give up a special teams play right here. That was a brilliant first half besides the fumble from Russell Wilson to go up two possessions, get it at half, and his defense pitching a shutout so far. And that's why we said it was going to be the key to the game for him. So Chaos is going to have one more play before the half, trailing now by two scores. He's given the ball away twice, and he also... Had a turnover on downs. So three stops for Skimbo here in this first half. His defense has always been really underrated, don't you think, Scott? We always talk about his offense, but you don't become a Madden champion with not having some defense behind you, huh? And he really felt like... Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's got room! Oh, my gosh, that was awesome. Wow. He really felt yesterday he was in the 3-4 oh way too much for Skimbo. So he's gone back to that 3-3-5 odd, and he's played some good defense over the last uh, couple matches here in the, in, in the first round of the group stages. But now here in the wild card, he's got Chaos down by 10. Yeah, and something that's interesting is Chaos, when talking with him, he felt that he had some tells on Skimbo's defense that he was going to be able to take advantage of because they run the same defense, and him and Master Gamer had labbed that, but so far, no dice. He hasn't been able to capitalize on anything. He's had some potential for some big runs, but still not able to turn them into points, and that's what counts. Well, we're here at the half of the first wild card game. Dave, Rico, take it away. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Yeah, Rico, 10 nothing at halftime. Skimbo in the lead. We've seen the emotion come out for both guys, kind of capping back and forth at each other. Chaos, able to keep it just a 10 nothing game. Is it really that close? Not at all. Skimbo's been in control of this game. He made one mental mistake. He knew it at the time. He's focused himself. You, you hear him talking through his reads. You hear him talking through his game plan. Skimbo's right now on another level, getting the ball back at half. This is his game to lose. This kind of skimbo is the best kind of skimbo where he tells you exactly what he's going to do right before he does it. And these guys are going back and forth, having a lot of fun. Chaos is still getting pretty heated up here. But that one turnover was critical. That's the skimbo you don't expect. You expect skimbo to make those big throws in the red zone like he did all last year, like you're going to see in these highlights. But also you don't expect him to make that mistake scrambling with the quarterback early. He goes back to Jimmy Graham on the high pass. They were debating whether that's a good read, bad read, terrible read, high point. But skimbo defense. That was what changed it for him last year, and he gets another huge turnover. Chaos can't afford to do that against Skimbo. He could have put the game away, really took control, huge play. But for him to be able to clamp down on this run, not let it break. Remember, we saw a lot of big runs yesterday where this move beat a lot of people. But those Seahawks, they chase everybody down, and that's why you use Seattle. And that's another reason you use Seattle if you're Skimbo. Great interception. He says that Chaos has been throwing at his zones all game long. These guys labbed up for him, and it's looking pretty good. He runs a unique offense. I'm surprised, surprised it's not giving him a little bit more trouble. But when you're Skimbo, you're the champ for a reason. 
Absolutely. We heard in the pregame, defense, defense, defense. That's showing up right now. Well, we know that Skimbo is the reigning Madden champion. He won $100,000 and a Madden championship belt in this very room back in May. We were lucky enough to catch up with him in his hometown of Claremore, Oklahoma. <laughs> He was a fun child. We had him in every sport we could get him in, from gymnastics to baseball to basketball. I made him play football. So he's always been very sports-minded. I was a very good baseball and basketball player, all-conference, took our team to semifinals. So after high school, I went to go play college baseball. My first year there, I re my labrum. And so what I ended up doing while I was down there is playing video games with my buddies in the dorm rooms. It was Madden. They would beat me, and I would hate it so much that while they were asleep, I would sneak into their room. I would turn on their Xbox, and I would play literally till 5 in the morning every day until I got to where they, I could beat them. They told me, yo, Skim, you're, like, you're really, really good. And I'm like, what do you think I should do? And then we looked up online some tournaments, and we found one, and you know that was kind of where it started. He likes to throw the ball around, as do I, sort of along the lines of playing problems. It's somebody it's an honor to play. Came along the Madden scene and, and took it by storm. That's a shout out to him, you know, what he's done in these tournaments. Becoming pro was a hard thing to do. You know, I've had to put off a lot of things in order to get to where I'm at now. He kept Madden a secret from us. Later, I found out he'd been playing a lot of Madden, and I said, okay, as long as you get that degree, which he got it, so we're good. Once they saw it work out for me, they finally realized, like, oh, this is really something he's doing right now, and he's pretty good at it. We support him. You know, coming into the Classic, you know, I plan on winning the belt. Uh, I feel really good about my game right now. I just feel like, you know, if there's a time to do it, it's going to be this one right here. Everybody's going to be after him, but he can handle it. He can handle the pressure. He's handled the pressure all his life. That is awesome. Skimbo the Southpaw. I didn't realize he was uh, flipping curveballs out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at our schedule to come. We are just getting started here. This is our first of two wild card games. After that, we will be jumping into our semi-final round, all pushing towards the Madden Classic Final. There it is right there. Stevie J will be taking on Joke next. Tweez and Dubby getting their buys from yesterday in the final live at 10 Eastern on the NFL Network. Right now, Adrian Lawrence is on the sidelines with Chaos. Thanks, Dave. Chaos, you're down 10 nothing. First half, two turnovers. What kind of challenges have you run into in playing the same defensive playbook? Um, well, I dropped the ball on fourth, on fourth down. That one hurt, and then I made a couple of bad reads. I mean, that's all there really is to it. I uh, moved the ball across midfield, I think, three times now. I just thrown picks and uh, turned the ball over, so I got to stop. And we saw you had a lot of emotion yesterday, a lot of fury there, and you seem to be more under control today. What's changed? Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't help me when I get mad, so I've been trying to get under control a little bit. But at the same time, I don't play well if I'm not animated, so try to find that balance. Well, we enjoy the animation. We wish you the best in the next half. RG, Scott, to you. All right. Thank you so much, Adrian. Well, uh, trying to keep those emotions in check. And I agree with what he said. Like, sometimes you want to get animated when something good happens. It's that fire in your heart. It keeps you going. But it's also a double-edged sword because when you get that animated and you're that passionate, when something goes wrong, it's really hard to hold those emotions back. And I think that's a little bit of what Chaos is dealing with right now. He wants to get animated when something good happens, but not a lot of good right now. It's been a lot more bad. And, his, you know... He's better than yesterday, but you can tell he's still got some frustration there that he's dealing with. And everyone's different. I mean, you know, some people, that's their motivation. You know, if they can, and some people can handle it, some people can't. Here's Skimbo with a 10-point oh lead. Oh, oh, my goodness. Almost got outside. He taken down at the 38-yard line. That would have blown the top off this thing. Skimbo with a little Jadakiss <laughs> lap right there, huh? <laughs> We're going to keep our 80s and 90s hip-hop references going throughout the program today. Uh, I'm sure you'll throw a couple of them right over my head. <laughs> <laughs> right over my head. So first play of the second half after the big return. And Wilson Good finds block. Lockett on a little drag. Makes Earl miss. And already is past midfield at the 43-yard line. And skim quick hiked them right there. That's one thing when you're playing classic Madden. You can see who your opponent's controlling at all times. 
Caught touchdown. chaos on his touchdown. defensive tackle. Touchdown. Hiked. Touchdown. Caught him again on the touchdown. D tackle. Don't throw it this time. Let's go. Glory for Skim. And he hits Paul Richardson in stride. He tried to call a shot in the first half and overthrew him. But this time it is a crispy dot for six. And <laughs> Skim I respect him. you too much for that. Call. I respect you. I know he's just trolling they him won. at this point. And how frustrating is that? I've, I don't think I've ever gone up against an opponent that's calling one his dots stop. mid snap. He, he's telling him what's going on before he throws it. Oh, the corner route's open. Touched it. This kid's an animal. And that's the thing, you know, when they're, they're watching these previous games and matches that these guys played, almost like those in the chat. And, and I hate it, you know, when they're like, A was open, B was open. But see, they know that, you know, and that's really almost what they're up. looking for is those. Almost up. Those wide open mismatches where maybe a guy plays too much under coverage. This time he uses the speed of Richardson. Finds himself already up 17 right now. One 200,000 playing Madden a year ago. And he's looking good here in the wild card game. I can't move. I can't move him. That's it. Ah! My user got stuck. Why does it do that on this game? Why does my user get stuck, man? We talked about that a little bit yesterday where he felt like he was getting locked on some of the guys. Take a look at these stats, RG. Skimbo looking good. Oh my goodness, nice balanced attack. 113 through the air, 85 on the ground. But more importantly, he had three stops defensively on Chaos. And there it goes. What the? Yeah, that's what I would have said. <laughs> They don't allow me to say that, but that's what I would have said. He caught himself. They're still keeping a PC out there. Didn't touch LB. You know, I've thought about Look at that reaction by Mike Skim. He's like, come on, guys. If the quarterback pitches it to a lineman, I need someone to punch that lineman in the mouth and make a play. We can't just be getting swagged on like that. If that would win for a touchdown, though, that would have became the new meta. You, you got to, he's saying he didn't hit LB. You got to assume he did. You never see that Don't happen unless you hit the pitch button. Fumble. Takes off ah. again with Russell Wilson, this time to the 49. Ah, man. Up run. 17 and still fighting. He wants it out. He wants everything. Oh, Skim isn't going to give you an inch. He said, as we saw against True Boy yesterday, he just kept piling on those points. Second oh, yeah. and four, and there goes Russell Wilson again. Gets a block from Tyler Lockett. Like this. And that'll move it to the 40-yard line. So not seeing much downfield and with no spy out there taking advantage of it is chaos. That's interesting what Skim said, though. He said you can't live like this, which means he, he's okay with giving up these runs to Russell Wilson because he figures eventually he's going to get a hit on him, force a fumble. And I know people say the conservative ball carrier, they want the quarterbacks, if you can get a strip or a hit stick on them, even when that coaching adjustment's on conservative, they'll cough that ball up. Wilson throws it short to Lockett, and Lockett will pick up five yards. And boy, if he would have checked down a few more times in that first half, we'd have a much closer game. Yeah, 17 nothing. It's no easy task to fight through, but hey, I, I've seen crazier things happen in Madden. He's still in this game. He just needs to turn this drive into points right here. Second and five. Keep in mind, Skimbo's run game isn't that prolific, so it's going to be a bit harder for him to kill that clock. Right, he's got like HB base <laughs> out of that Sack. bunch. Wow. He throws it with DC. right Take to, the crib while you're to Chancellor. He breaks a tackle oh, and couldn't get away easy, from bro. Russell Wilson. Second INT. Oh my by Cam Chancellor That's today. Crazy. And he's saying, what can I do? Oh, Throw wow. it in the direction of the six foot three That's Cam crazy. Chancellor, 90 plus overall safety. That's not what you want to be doing if you're chaos. Doesn't have the 92 zone like Earl does, but 90 zone works just as well. And what that height does is if man. that's an Earl, you're probably getting that pass over him. But Cam being 6'3", six, 6'4", six, he has a much longer catch that point ball. that he can get oh to and attack gosh. that ball. If that's anyone else but him, it might be a completed pass, but. Yeah, Cam's really not a guy that would jump a route, but he is a guy that you can't get over. And he's thrown three incompletions, all for interceptions. He's actually nine for nine, but three the other way. <laughs> Good point. 
And that's that defensive skimbo. It's very underrated. Everyone always talks about his offense. But you better start paying homage to his defense because it's been getting it done time and time again. Skimbo brought up an interesting point. Uh, dating back to last year's Madden Bowl, the only person that he's lost to is Dub Dot W. Yeah, that's a good point. He hasn't lost to anyone else but W since then. Yeah, you mentioned in your scattering report off the start that Skimbo needed to play really well on defense. Are you not entertained? Hey, he's up 17-0. Third and eight. Wow. Well, that one's going to be dropped. It's going to bring up a big fourth down. One thing that I thought was interesting in uh, the uh, piece we saw from Skimbo that they did with him and Claire Moore with his mom out there is wow. Mama Skimbo saying, saying, I'm not worried about him handling the pressure. I know he can do it. My mom's, you know, she tried to baby. Oh, I don't want him to have to deal with uh, all that type of pressure and everyone gunning for him. You know, they want to protect. She, Mama Skimbo's like, hey, life's not all sunshine and rainbows. People are going to come at you. You got to be able to deal with it. She knows her boy can do it, and he's done a fantastic job of dealing because he's the man to beat. He's got a target on his back. Everyone wants to beat him. Everyone wants to come after him, and he's handled that like a true professional thus far since winning that belt. After the gorgeous punt that... Pins him back within the 10. He's in the end zone, got to be careful. Got back out just beyond the goal line. Boy, if he doesn't make a move forward there, he's going to end up giving up two. Look at that. Bobby Wagner just coming straight through the gaps, fighting. Puts Russell Wilson down on that one. And hey, what safety, he already got three picks. He's playing stellar defense, Not why not add a state safety to the stats? What's that, two fantasy points? If, uh, Remember Tweez ended up sacking Chaos in the group stages for a safety, but this time he's able to get it out to the 14-yard line, still third and three. And that was the turning point of that game, if, if I recall correctly. Don't be true. That's fine. Fourth quarter. Skimbo's <sighs> asking you to throw your fours up. And he's not going to get a playoff, so it's a 17-point lead for the reigning Madden champion over Chaos, who's right now got as many points as you and I. <laughs> uh, do you think you'd be able to put up a point on Skim? Skim, no. Probably Chaos, no, <laughs> to be honest with you. You might get a field goal in there. You never know what I'm could happen. I'm in the same boat. Maybe a special team hits a big fumble, <laughs> get held to three. Been three turnovers. That's hurt chaos. This time he'll scramble again. What the f Yo, that's not the button. I'm pressing RB and it's pitching it, bro. Check your settings. Huh? Check your settings. They got to pause heck, it here. Dude? Take a look at this. It hasn't cost them. Yeah, no, this is this is interesting. What he's saying. I've, I've never feedback. seen a situation like this before. Visual feedback. He's saying Visual I'm feedback. pressing Visual RB feedback. and it's pitching it. Usually the pitch button's LB. Am I supposed to be doing play-by-play -play for the menu know. here? I'm Should be good. He's, sc Why is it he's scrolling it? down. Crazy. He's mm. making me look like an idiot. It's really interesting. I mean, we could take his word for it and say the RB button's pitching it, which I've never seen before, or maybe the nerves are just getting to him. I, Remember what I, I said know. yesterday. Excuses are a bridges to nowhere. It's really Second awkward. and eight, you're down 17. And Russell Wilson takes off in a nice slide at the 36-yard line. And Skimbo is content with just giving him, out, just giving him the scramble all day long. Oh my God! Swings it to the outside, and Richardson. Why do I? Why do I get hurt? What's wrong? They're talking. Come on. They're talking about the officials here at ESL. Maybe charging Skimbo a timeout for pausing. But I think he did that at a good sportsmanship yeah, for his competitor. I think in that situation, the pause is okay. What, we, what usually happens is if you pause the game, we force you to call a timeout. But that's usually in a situation where you're trying to make some sort of change to your death. Could catch some sort of change to your death chart or your audibles or strategic. Um, it's a strategic pause, and then we'll charge you a timeout. In this case, 
He was just trying to make sure the set, you know, he pitched the ball twice. It looked a little bit awkward. Skimbo wanted to make sure nothing fishy was going on. Hey, he said, just let it go. I'm all about giving the fat guys the ball. But uh, <laughs> we haven't had a fat guy <laughs> touchdown yet. No, we huh? haven't yet. Chaos is trying to make it work for us. Trailing by 17, scrambles out. Pick. Able to get rid of it, so that'll stop the clock at 340, second and 10, as Russell Wilson picks himself off the turf. And I believe what I'm hearing is this could potentially be the second shutout Chaos has had in this tournament. Some of the chances you take with the Seahawks not having that firepower. You have to play more of a dink and dunk game, except for Richardson that can really get deep. And you see in Skimbo be able to use that. Just work his way slowly down the field. Good this time plan. it's a nice find to lock it at the two-yard line. Great read there by Chaos. Great read, but the execution wasn't perfect. He didn't really have anyone around him. In that situation, I know everyone's used to possession catching it. Rack catch would have been six. The rack catch is the right move right there because you're in for six. You don't got to deal with uh, Skimbo getting sting mode on the two-yard line because you know he's not going to just give you this. He's known to get stingy here on the goal line. I know we aren't supposed to wager, but pound a brisket that he doesn't get in here. Who you like? I'm liking Skimbo on defense here. Either way, we're winning because we get brisket. <laughs> That's right. Either way, we're good. The defense. Wow, good click on by Skim. Look at these click ons to contain Russell. Wow. That was high level right there. That was a subtle thing that a lot of people wouldn't notice, but he kept clicking on the different defenders to get closer to Russell and then manually took him to cut off that running lane. Not a lot of people are built like that. I'm not able to make plays like that. Smart play by Chaos just to throw it away. 318, he's trailing by three scores. Wilson looking into the end zone. Throws it and Doug Baldwin will get a yard. And here you go. We talked about Skim getting stingy. Still in this gun trips inside zone. There you there go. There you go. And the funny thing is, is he's had a big run, Chaos, where he almost took to the crib. He had five yards on his opening carry, scores on the inside zone right there. And that was one of the plays Skim was most concerned about coming into this game. Oh, but Chaos never gave him a heavy dose of it. I don't think he ever had the chance, though, being down so many points. And here comes the onside. He's going to try for some Madden magic here, trailing by 10 with three minutes to go. And Dougie Fresh takes it on a short hop, and Skimbo's cow got it at the 39-yard line. Again, this is where things get awkward for Skim, though, in his gun bunch type offense. He, he only has that halfback base run play. So if you're chaos, you just got to be prepared for that. If you hold him to three here, still a two-score game. And there's Rawls. That base. I almost think you got to play the base, especially on first and second downs. It's all you, you got to show me that you'll pass the ball in this situation. I might have even run commit right there on first down. In the bunch, lock it a solo to the right. You got to assume that Skim's going to let that entire play clock go all the way down. Successful play here, and it'll probably run us all the way down to the two-minute warning. I'm chaos. I'm run committing right here. He's obviously running the ball. And there is Rawls, and a nice job by Cam Chancellor to hold him to a short gain. It's going to be third and seven. Are you the kind of guy that rips the time out here? I know it's it's, it's it, tough. It, you could really go. You could go either way. Sometimes I do like protecting that two-minute warning. Either way, regardless at 40 this second point, play clock. That's the only reason I bring it up. Chaos just needs to hold them to three. This is a big play right here. Precise and nice job coming off the edge there. Able to contain CJ, and now it's fourth and eight. And I kind of like what Chaos did right there. His mentality is he's going to let Skimbo take these 30 seconds off of the clock. So I'll have about a minute 20. He's going to be down 13 points, and he'll have all three timeouts. So what that will allow him to do is if Chaos can get a quick score and then get a stop or an onside kick, he's right back into the ballgame. If you skim two, you also got to watch out for the block kick 
which could be devastating for him if Chaos came right off of that edge. I know it's superstition here. And he oh, almost oh, blocked it! Oh. And it's right down Main oh, Street. Wow. The rookie Griffin oh. came off the that edge. Crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was glitchy. He didn't even get the jump animation nope. that you usually get. That was like a like a straight user block. Robin looking on, checking the chat. The GOAT. Greatest Madden player of all time right there. Hashtag credentials. Yeah, he's got the credentials. He, he's, he deserves that title. That's, there's one person that's chasing him, though. He's not quite there yet, but he's... He's, he's running right behind him, and that's Mike Skimbo. But I'm sure we have him. Problem's still going strong, too. We, we'll prob we're going to see him later on in the year, that's for sure. I don't want to say what's your Mount Rushmore, but I, I assume you got Problem, Skimbo. This is not in any order. Problem, Skimbo, Serious Mo, Big Gene. Yeah. Throw RG in the top five. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> Good lucky to make top 100. And that's got knocked away. So now with third and 17, 51 seconds to go, trailing by 13 is that man right there. I tell you who doesn't get enough. We don't say enough about it's Justin Chow. It's my dog. Chow can make it happen. But it's my dog. Third and 17. Some of the best stick work you've ever seen, Chow, oh, yeah. in his prime. Now it works for EA. Been my roommate for the last several years, one of my best friends. Shout out to Chow. And I don't like saying anything nice about him. You know how you are. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like, Absolutely. You gotta pay homage. So fourth and 21 now. Back, back, back. Back. Oh, this guy, Mike Skimbo, huh, Scott? This is ridiculous. To just keep these runs going, keep the consistency. Going after your dreams and really prevailing, making them happen. I mean, this is a guy that's made $200,000 last year. And with this win alone, he's now guaranteed himself at least $12,500 in this tournament. And then one win away. Seven sacks. Three turnovers, three takeaways for Skimbo. You talked about the defense being the thing. Some nice things said right there by Skimbo saying, you'll be good, you'll be fine. Yeah. No, you you got to keep your head up if you're chaos. You came out here, you made a name for yourself. Things didn't go exactly as planned. But this is your first year really being able to compete oh, yeah. with Madden. And hey, you get knocked down, you got to get back up and make things happen. Remember, Mike Skim's a guy that lost in two final games before he finally won the big one. We all go through that type of adversity. And I'm sure chaos will be back, he'll be regrouped. But for now... It's Mike Skimbo's time. Interesting. Two competitors there. Both played college athletics. And when that was over, they wanted to compete in Madden. Like, that was the next step for them. That's so, so cool to see. Yeah, and that's what's beautiful about competitive gaming is it gives you a chance to compete no matter who you are, what size, whatever, however old you are. If you want to get involved with competitive gaming and you want to compete, there's an outlet for you to do so here with Competitive Madden. Well, Adrian, standing by with Skimbo. Thanks, Skimbo, congratulations. You're the reigning champ. You beat the newcomer. How are you able to capitalize on his struggles? I just played good defense. I struggled on offense, to be honest. Uh, too many threes. If I'm going to win this thing, i got to make those three sevens, bottom line. I said that coming in, and you know I'm getting lucky that my defense is holding me over, but there's going to come a time where those threes have got to be sevens. And Chaos was a little less animated than he was the other day, but still there was some pretty good trash talk going on there. How did that impact your game? Uh, none. I've been doing this forever. I mean, it's cool. It's cool that we get to be on a couch. You know, we I can hear him. He can hear me. And it's fun. You know, I like this Madden Classic. I like the structure. And I hope it's back next year. We'll see what happens, though. And as you're moving on in the semifinals, you meet Tweez, the mystery man. What are your thoughts about that upcoming matchup? Uh, he's a very good player. I'm actually really cool with a couple of his boys and his crew. So uh, I actually got a text from Wild today, told me if I play his boy, uh, bad luck or whatever. So uh, I'm coming after him. So it should be a good game. Indeed it should. Congratulations and best of luck moving forward. Dave, Rico. Thank you, Adrian. Rico.